yeah, 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 Sensational. Yeah, you have Sensational. a you have a really Thanks. nice nice hairdo. Oh, thank you. I like you. You have a very nice hairdo. Hair game strong as well. I fuck. appreciate you. Your beard game is proper, oh, baby. Boy, what it you look like? Man? You know, what it look like. Oh, oh, Rick Ross. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, it's, it's proper. I like. Thank it. you, brother. Uh, Tom, I'm in it. And How I got you my, doing? I got my cam set up. We're good, man. Yeah, can you We're hear good. us this time? The last time we couldn't hear. I was D. out a little bit. What? Uh, I don't even remember, but yeah, you know what? The technology's on point this time. Okay, we okay. got things rolling. Come on, we're professional, there right? We go. I just, yeah, bought, yeah, I just yeah. bought something new. It, it's not going to be special for you, but it'll help with audio quality. So, mm. see, I'm reinvesting. All right. So, don't talk. In yeah. case you wanted to know, in case you wanted to know, you know, we're we're, we're spending. I saw money, you. Uh, okay? You got? Uh, did you get a new camera? No, but I bought a new lens. Is, oh, the, okay. Yes. Even better. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me I ask you this. I heard. That. Tell me if this is true. You marry you. you you fuck the camera, you marry... No, I'm serious. Okay. okay. All right. Tell me if, this, if you agree with the statement. You fuck the camera, you marry the lens. Does that make sense to you? You went in heavy. <laughs> I haven't even been introduced. You know, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 you ain't supposed to say nothing yet. Wait, hold on, hold on. She's on cam. No, no, but is that a fair statement? Somebody who, who's a I, photographer told me that. Oh, my God. I think they that's saying, a good point. I mean, I think that people can fall in love with, with lenses for sure, but I feel like the camera is kind of like... The car and the the lens is like the set of wheels, you know, where it's mm. like, damn, those set of wheels look good, or like, you know, they just mm. they hit a certain way, but like, mm. the camera is still. I don't know. I would marry the camera and fuck oh, the lens. Okay, yeah, you're a contrarian though. Yeah, so it makes so, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so. We got we got we got our second co-host yeah. with her second wait her second time on the show, mm -hmm. Stephanie Taylor. Everyone, how you doing, man? Hello, hello. I'm good. How, how are you? you? You know what? You're always good. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. And I, I put that on my mother's grave. May she rest in peace. We need that. I'm in a great mood overall. I Do it. I have my days and shit? Yeah, like everyone else. But I think that uh, personally, I've been working on my mind game so strong and learning little tricks and tips to get out of those shitty moments. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about this shit in the car that, because they're going to happen. You know, I'm a fucking human being, but I'm finding ways to like get out of the shit, so to speak, the, the muck. How you feeling? Good. I also have shit days. I'm not as good as getting out of them though, but what, so let me share ask, some tips. You know what? I got a tip for you right now. Oh, off God, top. Here we go. So I'm almost finished with this new book called uh I Masturbation. forgot. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Gawk, the Gawk Gawk 3001. Uh so it's called so um Don't Believe Everything You Think. Okay? And the whole premise of the book so far from what I'm getting is a lot of our bullshit comes from thinking. Now, let me ask you this. So there was a quote in the book that goes, anxiety is thinking without, is thought without control, and flow state is control without thought. Okay. So you, have you felt like you ever been in, in a flow state? Meaning I just like... Like bartending. You were in a zone. <laughs> no, like yeah. in the zone, right? Don't you feel like... It, yeah. Especially when, you know, you got three deep and, yeah. it, and you just, you're not even man, thinking. Man, man, man. And at the end of the night, you're like... Where'd that go? How'd that happen? Yeah. And then definitely. it seems like the time just kind of like, oh, like, damn. Flies, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing about serving that I love. When it was busy and you just get in that zone, then it, it went like it went super fast. Quick shifts, yeah. So what he was saying is a lot of times as soon as we start thinking, like the act of thinking itself is what creates all of our bullshit. Because if I told you something yeah. right now just to think about something dope, you, your, your first thought would be of love. You would it'd be, okay, that's dope. But then I said, now think about it. And then, then all of the, the self-doubt right. and the bullshit and anxiety, right. can I do it? My kid, da 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 So thinking he, inherently is what causes all of our bullshit. Like, because all the shit that we, and this is according to this book, and I'm starting to fuck with it because what we have inside of us is always the right answer. But it's, as soon as we allow outside bullshit to get yeah. in is when it fucks up. Yeah. So that was like, so that's what I would, I would say about that. I can so what do you want me to do with that information? <laughs> no, so I'm saying like, do, do you say you, do you have anxiety? Yeah, definitely. But and I'm an overthinker, so I I make my I think that's a lot of women we make ourselves mad, right, with our thoughts. Is that emotional? So emotional based? Yeah, always. 
Let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let's get deep. Let's get deep for a second. <laughs> would you, Would you say that women, generally speaking, like a little turmoil? Meaning, would, like, would you Would you rather? Would you, <laughs> Would, would you rather have a guy that throws a little turmoil in your life versus a guy who never is just completely straight laced boring? Would you rather have boring? Oh, I think this definitely depends on maturity. Because I think like years ago, I was like for the, you know, right? You're like, you bring the drama in, you like a little bit of drama or to start some shit. And now I'm at a point in my life where I'm like, please don't. Like, I would rather just have a boring day, like the same thing over and over as long as it means. I don't have to look through your phone right. or figure out what's going on or yeah. I think nope. you may be leaning towards like towards the aesthetic of like the imagery of, you know, having some little tinkering and bullshit mixed in between. It's an aesthetic tool for a lot of girls. Or a lot of women I should say. So shit could be a lot of girls actually. Yeah. <laughs> but um when you want some boring shit, it's just normalcy. And I feel like that's what we I mean So then they go looking for drama. Yeah. From my experiences the more boring I have ever been, the more I have not been attractive. The more I've been like unpredictable is the more I've been attractive. And okay. to me, like just and, and okay, being but that's not, okay, but unpredictability is not drama necessarily. But it, but it definitely sure can be. It can be. Oh, sure. <laughs> it, can be. It, it can be. Yeah. yeah. So would you consider Tom, would you consider yourself um exciting? <laughs> <laughs> See, that was a genuine laugh. <laughs> I wanted to say because like Chris is so on his shit these days that like yeah, wait, as far as what just let him like know. mentally <laughs> let yeah him know. well no, just like no. you just sharp you're like very much in control of things oh so my god I, I so, so funny when he was asking you just about this like it's not that you like, <laughs> want to like shit in other people's lives but you're just like basically I'm controlling my thoughts I'm doing this yeah I'm and doing I'm that like, completely I'm not. <laughs> achieving my goals dominating waking up <laughs> breaking world records. Uh, yeah. So what's going on with you? And it's just like uh, fair enough, fair yeah. enough, fair um, enough. So would I consider myself exciting? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I'm not the kind of guy that's the loudest at the party. I'm definitely not like, hey, look at me. I don't, you know, post a lot in the sense of like I need love and affection. Um, do I think I'm cool? Like maybe a little bit. I don't know. But so excite. What, what, what makes somebody excited? I'm about to say what excited? does cool. What is what is? How about you? Add, there's a question I actually wrote down. What is big dick energy? What does that oh, mean to it, you? What is big dick energy? Um, I think big dick energy for me probably <laughs> comes like, a little bit. <laughs> it, it's it's probably more related to like money, right? I think for me because I, I I do I I do like look at that and respect that a little bit more. So big dick energy to me is like you got fucking money and you know it mm. and you're kind of cocky because of it and um, you get shit done. You don't take shit from people. And uh, yeah, you just walk up with your, your chest out and your head up. That's that's more or less it. I don't know. It's not like arrogant and like a dick. I know. Speaking because we were talking about reels. Have you seen this shit from Andrew Tate? Do you know this guy? Obsessed with the guy. Really? Okay. <laughs> Obsessed with the guy. That's Obsession. not a good thing, Chris. Obsessed Dude, with the fucking guy. Is, but I'm gonna tell you, he's a. a, a uh, have you seen this? Because you're a woman, and I feel like he's um, there I to offend you. I think I know you. who you're talking about, but he's by bald. Name. He's like he's taking over the internet. Oh, he's ugly. Yeah, I get. Yeah. Oh. He's bald and ugly. I hope he sees this. Uh, <laughs> I think he, I don't want to say his looks. I mean, he's he's a he's an okay looking guy, but it, he needs anyway, to be he humbled take, a little bit though. Well, I yes. know who you're talking about. The yes. cool thing about being a guy is that women aren't as fucking shallow as we are, so you don't have to be like the sexiest uh, motherfucker on earth. I disagree, bro. What do you mean? What do you disagree with? The shallow part. <laughs> well, because men know, I, men use we we're visual creatures more so than they are. Are we talking sex? Yeah, just like like overall attractiveness. Okay. We when we saw that girl outside of your crib, all we saw was what she looked like, and we both thought yeah, she was popular. I, I think that perspective has been a very male dominated perspective, bro. I don't. I think I don't know. I well, think women. Lady. Yeah, absolutely. So that's what I'm saying. Like, we, how about let me let I me. Think, let, I let, think if I'm walking down the street, a woman is definitely looking at me. But not nearly as much as we're looking at them. I don't. I disagree. Now, so let, let me ask. You, so let, let me let <laughs> me frame not, this They might not. They, they bro. I think I think women be looking. I think they what they do. They might, the reactions are probably based culturally different. I think. I'll give you that. But here's my point: is that you might not be the sexiest guy on earth to that girl, but if you check this box, this box, this box, and this box, you have a chance with her. Whereas a lot of times with us, if you're not attractive visually, that's gonna hurt. So I, I feel like men are more shallow. 
shallow. When it comes to that, it's right. like she's got to look good. That's like the that's like the first that's thing the we first care thing about. For you. Yeah. Whereas that's not necessarily the first thing for them. They care more about other yeah. stuff. They care more about resources. They care more about is he in control. They care more about is he is he confident. They care right. more about you know. Whereas we're like, is she hot? All right, I can fuck with it. Right? Do you, would you agree with that statement? More often yeah. than not? Yeah, more often so. than not. Right. Yeah, I get it. But for the it. record, we do. Of when course. we're in groups, we talk about you guys, we look at you guys, we pay attention to I'll you I'll just guys say this. Sure. Girls have been my best friend my whole life. So, like, I understand. They they are dogs just like us. Like, if you really allow <laughs> a woman to do what they want to the, do, they are the dogs comments. just like men. So, this I, I always preach it equili- equilibrium mm-hmm. type of situation because I've just I grown up with women. Women have always been my best friends. So I've gotten to see perspectives You've and not be it. a dog or trying to get a girl all the yeah. time for that reason. So I just think it's more of an equilibrium. We just put these cultural shit on it. Like guys are more visual. Guys do this thing. Women do that because guys are the ones telling the story. But women I mean, just have never from, wait, but hold story. on. But from the beginning of time, there's a reason why men are attracted to big breasts and big titties. And, and, yeah, that's and a that sexual. Yeah, that's a sexual aspect. Well, because it. it literally tells our brains that they're good for, for, for yeah, childbirth. But, but, they, but we have that's things, what I'm we have things that are attractive about us no, that they for like sure. too. But they, but they're willing to go past that if you offer these other boxes more so but than that's we a, are. That's a cultural, social thing, man. It's this, it's, it's but it's still, whether that's true or not, but it's, it's not, still the it's way not it is. based on the whole human experience necessarily, though. I think all over the world, men li- like to look at women more so than. How about this? It's the main differentiator for us men is is she attractive? I think mm-hmm. a, a woman's beauty is like their number one thing. That's what they know. That's why the the makeup industry is a trillion dollar industry. No matter what makeup is always popping. Mm-hmm. Recession right now, I promise you the makeup is going up. One thing women will not do is fuck that up. Right. And that, but that's is that cultural or is it just the way yeah, they, it's they actually, just, I, I, Yeah, absolutely that's cultural. I think is they just know that that's how guys think. Right, but that's the thing. That's right. how a guy thinks, though. So it's still dominated by a guy's a, a guy's thought on it, and a guy's the one who's owning that makeup industry and pushing these products too. No, there's a lot of women. Well, maybe not, but there's women. Kylie Jenner's got like one of the hottest fucking makeup. Yes, that's right one person out of Fair the enough. whole that's industry good. Good. history, historically, from thousands of years ago. Yeah. Well, did so, you say that about almost all businesses? Absolutely. Then? So almost all businesses. It's a male perspective, and it's been it's always been that way for the since to be. I mean, since most of the beginning. It depends on what type of system is running the whole thing. When you have the society that we have, where it's a one, like we talked about with that one person dominant type of thing, and typically it's going to be one sided with the male domination, and then that's going to be the whole perspective from everything on out. You, we've just started getting actual female perspectives on shit within the last hundred years, honestly. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know what that's got to do against what men and women because are attracted story, to naturally since since day because one. Because we've tell, we're telling them what their story is, but they they can have their own thoughts, and I feel like women will agree that. She just, you, this, she just she just said when she gets her girl, she's a dog. I mean, not no. when you get with your girls, but <laughs> Listen, you know. Listen, I'll even say I believe that women are more sexual, especially when they fuck with you, right? I, I think that that's mm-hmm. a thing. However, they're not driven by sex like we are. They're not, or how about this? They're not driven by spreading their seed every fucking where. Like they're more well, content. That's a, yeah, okay. Now, is that a culture thing, or is that's that just a the biological? Way it is? Because we can spread our seed everywhere. They can't. But that also could be a societal thing because it doesn't look great for a woman to have. Look at Nick Cannon, right? right? He's got all these fucking baby mamas. And it's, I mean, a lot of people do like talk shit about it, but not nearly as many people as if you have a woman who's got multiple baby daddies. And so it's the same. Cultural shit. See, I would say, tell me if you guys agree with this. Women care more about a guy's future, generally speaking, and men care more about a woman's past. Oh yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. Deep. Because let me. Let me I don't well, feel me, like I belong wait, wait, here. No, <laughs> no, I'm telling you, he's on a different level. He's so so deep. From the last time you were here, he he is. You know what? He's Side gained note, thirty really IQ quick, points. The and, last one I did, I got a lot of people who messaged me saying you're amazing with how you speak and how you transition. I had a lot of people who told me yeah. that. Just so you know, me hey, transition game. Yeah, you. Strong. Who am I looking at? Yeah, you're really good at that. Right, right, but anyways, <laughs> I mean, shit, continue. how many? Seven, eight, almost eighty I'm episodes. Telling you, this is, yeah. this is eighty, I think. Huh? Yeah. And that's not counting wrong. This is eighty, baby. Kobe, I think. Eighty. I just obviously, I just love to talk, you guys. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. always been that way. But you do too. I do, very much. So, so going back to that point, let me ask you, Tom. Yeah. And it, this is just thought experiment. Yeah, yeah. If you knew your girl had an extremely, shall we say, interesting past. How would you feel about that? I, I think it, I would like, I don't know. I'd like to think that it wouldn't, but I think it would probably. 
I, mean, and I, I, I think it'd be one of those things that you'd like put off. So just funny. <laughs> like I was looking at, I was in the kitchen the other day with my girlfriend and she's like showing me a pregnant picture of some chick. And I was like, you know, who is this? I didn't even realize. And then I realized it was Riley Reed. And Porn star? yeah. Yeah. And so she just had a, a baby and she like took some time off from fucking, you know, whatever. Porn? Yeah, from porn. <laughs> from whatever. From, uh, yeah, whatever she does. Um, and <laughs> take, she's got to take I was at least like, six weeks. So. Yeah, right, she's, right. She's, got, she's got a baby daddy. And, like, as, as far as I'm aware, he's not in the board industry. And it's like, yeah. you know, he looked past. And I guess the, the it's like you, you married a porn star, so that's cool, I guess. I feel like he can't go online without being like, oh, God, there's my wife, you yeah. know? So, like, yeah, that's, good. that's tough. I don't know, but, again, I guess I see it as, like, a, a two-sided thing. Where it's just like, ah, it, you got to be the bigger man to move past it. But I can see how it would be a deal breaker. Like if on the first date or whatever, she's like, yeah, I've, I've slept with a whole bunch of people. That'd probably be like, okay. You know. I mean, and that wouldn't stop us from hitting. <laughs> but that, I think that that would, that it would be, uh, I, I definitely don't want to know. Like if you had a past. Yeah. I don't want to know. Because, I, cause again, we're visual. I can like mentally visual. I'm like, I just, I, I, it's really hard for me from this girl that I really give a fuck about just getting dominated. And I, I listen, I'm an adult and I know that. <laughs> Going well, to no, pound let's town. Let's be honest. I know how I am. And if I saw, if I thought some other nigga was doing what I do, I'm like, that's going to yeah, be kind of yeah, interesting. Yeah. Like, I know I, what you do too, girl. Because yeah, I'm, I'm out thing. here. I'm like ridiculous. <laughs> what you did last summer. <laughs> so so I, I just think that, uh, that that definitely would bother me. I, I could not wife up no chick that I knew was just out here wild. So, I, I get it, we're, especially now that we're getting older, it's gonna happen. I get it. I'm damn near forty. Motherfuckers gonna have kids and shit. I get that. Right. But even just that, it's like, oh man, you got a kid. It's like I, that. That proves that some other nigga was dominating at one point. <laughs> and I just think about not that. necessarily. I, like, I, I guess well, <laughs> I, artificial insemination. No, you couldn't. No, you ain't she, never said it had to be dominating. Might not shit. be dominating. It might have just probably been. just been some sloppy ass. Uh, <laughs> I don't even remember this. There you go, Chris. Would uh, anyone? Is it more? <laughs> would you be more likely to date someone that had a baby but only like one partner before that, and they just had the baby with them, or someone that has no baby? But has had great like a question. bunch of partners. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a great question. Because I feel like, can you live with the the history of, you know, whatever whoever she was fucking before, or the fact that she's already got a kid with somebody? So I've I'm going to take the chick that I'm just going to let you know. I'm going to take the chick that doesn't <laughs> the have the kid. Yeah, it doesn't probably. Have the child. I think that that makes a bigger like having the kid would make a bigger impact on your future, your potential future together than like I, I could get over the like okay you went you got. Plowed a bunch in college, you know, like <laughs> yeah, plowed a bunch in college. <laughs> like I, I think I could get over that easier. I don't know. Well, here's the thing. Oh I oh tell me if you guys agree with this statement. The average woman, yeah, I like that. And then we need to go back to PG, okay? Because <laughs> we got to get the up. The average woman. Tell me if you guys agree with. This, I believe is way more sexually active than the average man. How do you guys feel about that? I statement? mean, well, despite the whole roundabout with the fluidity of sexuality, where it can go a lot of ways. We do still have to have sex with somebody, so I feel like it's still again equal. Because if you're gonna have sex, who are you gonna have sex with? I think gawk gawk three thousand. I think it. I, <laughs> I mean, I got my own version uh, of it. <laughs> Wait, he legitimately got like a. I got a full ass. Excuse me. I think I've heard, hey, excuse me. Don't pull up a picture of it. I'm, I'm I want to see. Show okay. the camera. Just for her. Show the camera. No, no, no. This better be the, this it's, better it's, be the it's, listing. And I just want to say to what you said. I believe that women. If they want to be more sexual, nice. <laughs> I believe that women, that they can. We have the opportunity to. Well, you get the options. Of course, yeah. I think even like even like even Drake gets declined. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Any even like the the ugliest women. Why was on Drake Earth, your example? It was because I just know that he can pull majority of the women that he, he probably to. talks to. I've heard uh, stories about his parties that are just outrageous. I just I heard that he's just out here wild, and, and it's so plentiful to him that it's like not even a thing anymore. And supposedly he likes really big girls. I guess that BBW line, where he's, it's like for real. I guess he likes a thick woman. And like <laughs> children, right? I don't know. Loki, I thought that. Oh, shit. That, oh, shit. <laughs> Chris, oh, so Drake likes kid. kids? I don't know. I, oh, I, like, I thought he had, he had, not that long ago, right? He had some, they, some they, stuff where he was like. He's going to get a cease and assist people. letter. No, I never heard that. Why are you talking about pointing at me? <laughs> no, I never heard have that. that. Have y'all ever heard that? I he never had some. Wait, he, there was a thing? No, no, no. Like no, no, like weird stuff. Like he used to. Young girls. He used to be in DMs of that chick from Stranger Things. I remembered that story particularly. Is she 18? No, she was like 
a teenager at the time. Was she fire teenager though? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> See, you're going to get canceled, right? Tr- no, no. Listen, so, listen. He didn't do it. Motherfucker drinking soy milk. Bro, I wouldn't want, <laughs> it's a I thing, wouldn't man. want Drake talking to my head, child. Huh? I wouldn't want Drake talking to my child. I, I don't care. Like, if, if it's a kid, don't ever be in their DM. Don't text them. Right. Unless they're like, hey, I got Is you know, 17 I, considered a kid to you? I'm not going to do this. <laughs> We're not, we don't need I to go past that. This. I just, great. I just wanted to go real quick and <laughs> say, Drake, great question. you know, don't give him too much of a pass. So what, so, so what was the initial question? <laughs> Where did we come from? No, because he had a great, know, would man. you rather? Oh, uh, one woman. I'm going to ask you now, D. <laughs> oh woman with a, a kid, but only one partner, yes, factually uh, speaking. Because uh, women will lie about that shit. Women, women won't even count it. It's a hypothetical. Wait, wait, it's a hypothetical. Count what? Contingencies. I've heard girls say they won't count, won't count a body if they, if they have stipulations or whether or not they count it or not. It only went in halfway. Don't count. Don't I count. wear a condom. Don't count. Like, nah, nigga, that counts. I kept my eyes. But the room was dark. We're talking about children's sex. No, I'm, I'm, right I'm now, trying y'all. to get off that. Oh, so I'm going to get canceled. Now, are we talking about adult sex or children's yeah, I'm talking, sex? We're going back to the adults again. Okay. This is a okay. Thank for God. Me to, All right. Yeah. yeah. But, I'm talking, so no, but, but the original question was, would you rather have a girl with one kid and... Only one previous one, partner. Or no kids and partners galore. I don't give a shit about all the partners at all. Um, cause everybody got, a, I got a fucking pass. <laughs> so I don't expect my girl to not have a pass. Actually, I like experience. Cause if you ever had sex with a virgin, which a lot of people haven't, it's not fun. <laughs> but, but, but we're talking the extreme. We're talking the extremes now. So we're yeah. talking like a hundred people in, in, in four years of college. Yeah. Okay. I mean, just porn stars. <laughs> that that have nobody added clarity to this, man. I was. Just, right, you, I said thirty. That would be century, that, but, that would but I mean, if you had a hundred and four years <laughs> that's in college, a that's a that's a good chunk. That might made a change career my out of scenario. <laughs> I might yeah, pick a chick with it. one kid or just be single the rest of my life. I don't know. But okay. Fine. So 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 you were thirty. The one. I mean, with no kid and a lot of partners. I would pick the one with. Uh, I really don't mind either, actually. But I guess the. I would guess the no with the, the not a lot of sex partners then. Yeah, because I think I think deep down I think. But now let me ask the lady on the different. Not really though. It's not really my concern because I think about sex differently. Like but I don't really. That's true. But you did pick the one with less partners. I mean, well, I'm picking that. I'm picking that just because it's a game. But really, I don't give a shit about all of it. Because I really don't care either way. I would still pick them. Like, if I want them, I want them. I don't care about the whole scenario that people put yeah, so on. So you're different. I, I, I would really argue. Have like, to the majority of men care about that, I would argue. That's All right, fine. but you have I'm to financially good. support their kid, too. That's part of the deal. <laughs> oh. See, I got guy. I have guy kids. So that's, oh. that's tough for Not me. Good. That's tough for me. That's, just, that's, just, that's tough for me. So on the other perspective, as a woman, would you rather be with a guy that had one kid? Yep. Nope. <laughs> yep. The kid. <laughs> that one's hard for me because I, even though I have children, um, I would not want to date somebody with children. Now that I'm a little bit older and my kids are a little bit older, it might be different, but I don't want to deal. I don't want to date someone with a baby mama. Why? Because baby mamas suck. They have drama. Yeah. Um, but the past thing is hard for me. Like, I don't like hearing about like exes. I don't like, like we, like I went to high school with people, like all my guy friends. Right. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I'll look back and be like, man, like they ran through this girl, this girl, this girl, this girl, this girl. So I would have never dated them, even if like now as adults, like so, so no interest in that. You're saying personally you are turned off from a guy who's incredibly who's sexually attractive to a lot of women. No. No, no, no. <laughs> I like how you No, it, you right? can yeah. like, yeah. twist the No. Yeah. If, <laughs> he can be sexually attractive. Oh, I don't want to know that they find him sexually attractive. I don't want to know that. So you would want a guy that touched anybody? So let, me ask, let me give you another hypothetical. Do you want a guy, assuming both of them don't do anything, would you want a guy who nobody thinks is attractive or a guy that everyone thinks attractive, assuming neither one's going to cheat? Would you want the guy who's liked by all or liked by nobody? But he's not going to cheat? Either way. Liked by all. If he, if, See, it's interesting. If he's... Well, that just means he's attractive. It's like, right. do you want to date with Ugo or somebody that's attractive? But if there's a potential that he's going to cheat, absolutely not. I don't want to deal... I don't want anybody. Then. <laughs> no, so I think that's fair enough. I do think... <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm like, good. <laughs> my opinion is, is on... At a core level, cheating doesn't necessarily turn women off as much as it turns men off. That's what I believe. I believe it, it, it hits... Even though like we're more willing to do it, it feels like, or we'll get caught... 
it hurts us. <laughs> it, it hurts us more than I feel like it hurts them. What? Like I feel like. <laughs> wait, you ever you ever stayed with a guy who cheated on you before? I think we answered this last okay, time. Okay, so yeah, we did. So the I've turn, I that. I think hurt. I'm with a girl that cheated on me before. I think hurt and turn off are different, though. I agree. I think being hurt, I don't know. I was I've been cheated on. Hurts a lot. Stayed with them anyway. Because I wasn't turned off by it. That's right, weird, huh? right. No, that's, that's a good. That's the point. That's, that's the point that I'm making. That's actually. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, and I, and I and again, it's. It, it, did he lie about it? Yeah, they all, don't you always? See, I think the trick is, is to be honest about it. I I I, I believe when you get caught or as soon no, as you just, do it, you just you just be. I, I, to me, the key to women, what I'm learning, in my experiences, is brutal honesty from the jump, and that will turn off some. But the ones that it yeah. will fuck with, they'll fuck with you heavier Those because the, you're really, you're not giving them your representative. You're giving them your whole you. Yeah. And I feel like I'd rather know. I feel like people. I, I just feel like that brutal honesty is probably the the secret sauce to women behind ambition. I think ambition number one, brutal honesty number two. Right. And in my in my experience, men are shit liars, and you guys start with lies and can't <laughs> keep them up, and that's how you get. Why do you too. think men lie? I don't know, because I think men tell people what they want to hear, like, for the most part. Whether it's women, teachers, their parents, whatever. I think boys just, I don't know. I don't know. D, why do you think men lie to women? To get what they want. Tom? Why do you lie to women, I've never, Tom? Yeah, Tom, never, why are you such a I've fucking liar? Lied, dude, I've never, so I don't know. I don't know. He's never lied to a woman I, before, he People says. call I mean, me honest, Abe, basically. So. Right, 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 right. But uh, I guess I have, like, I've been dating uh, my girlfriend for over 10 years now, and I don't, like, lie anything, like, malicious, but there'll, there'll be times where he's like, oh, did you do this? He's like, yes. And she usually can call me out. She's like, I know you're lying. But um, hmm, I do, I do, will, I will lie occasionally to, like, just get out of some shit, you know, like a little, you know, that, lie, you little know, white. but see, I have a different perspective on that because I was the same way. I think most guys are. It, so here's my it's my opinion that the reason why guys lie to women is because they they want to have access. So like you're not going to tell girls always say, if you want to fuck, just say that. Hey, 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 I know you're watching the podcast, but I need you to do me a favor. I need y'all. I need y'all right now. Go to caresnone.com right now caresnone.com and go check out the new site. It's a whole new site. It's more optimized. It's more user-friendly. It should be easier to navigate. It's cleaned up. I think y'all gonna like it. Do me a favor, y'all. Just go check it out. Go ahead, copy something, too. Get you some nice merch. Get you some dope stuff. Go look nice. Go show that you're Cares None Nation for real. You'll really be supporting me. You'll be supporting me big time. So, caresnone.com. Oh, and uh, always be dope. Let's be honest. If you go on a first date and you're like, I'm just trying to fuck, you're probably not going to fuck most of the time. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to finesse that to some degree. Now, so you can't just come out necessarily. But I think you can still be like, you know, you can like word that in a way to let them know this is what we own. But I'm not about to just, I'm not about to lie to you about it. But you can't just come out and say, oh, I'm trying to fuck. So, right. you know. Well, we that's, be that's because we got the whole... You know the whole story played to it. We have the whole thing, the the, the sensation of the, the the act. You know what I'm saying? It's like the dance. It's, I kind of use animals a lot in my um, explain, uh, excuse me, explanations. But like the peacock, you got to do the dance first. They don't just come up and start fucking. Like you got to dance with me first, and you got to you got to court them me. over. You yeah. literally have to court me. They court just like we have to court. Yeah, because they, because they're, so the they're not brutes. Just like look. This is what is gonna happen. I'm about to fuck you. This is what you know what it is. That's not how we act. Prepare yourself. You don't act like wild animals. <laughs> Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, unless you out here wild. Unless that's your social structure, but that's not ours. You know, we have to actually court women and shit. So that's part of it. See, I, I would say so. We lie is because we're we're scared of the outcome of of telling the truth. We either don't want the fight, we don't want the argument. We're scared that she might not want to fuck. It, it is it is my belief that I'd rather tell you the truth, and because. 90% of men probably lie, probably more. If like the audacity that this guy is like that honest to me, that sets you apart off top because like, damn, he's really bold. And I'm just using that in my own personal experiences. The more brutally brute honest, the better results I have had with women. Mm -hmm. Whereas before when I, I would try to play like this, you know, because they know what we want, right? We're not, you're not stupid as a female, right? 
for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> I just need to check with you real quick. You're not a fucking idiot, right? All right. No, I, I just think that here's what I always tell. Here's what, oh, he's been man. listening to Andrew Tate too much, bro. I'm telling I love you. Andrew Tate. You, no, you, Did you I love Andrew Tate. That's dope? the whole conversation. You're not fucking dumb, right? Like, Don't. <laughs> that is. That is no, come on. There, no. Is he funny a little bit? Oh, he got dude. some memes. That's Bro, crazy. Don't, be careful. Be careful with that. Well, I'm not going to be careful because... It, but, he is not going to help you get bitches, I feel like. I think he's I tell- promise you, he probably gets way more women than any of us in this I room know, times but, 30. But Who? it's because he's Andrew rich Tate. and so cocky and, and that's he's part bald of it. and handsome. If he's willing to be that brutally honest, it sets you apart from everybody. That's the reason why he's the number one trending person on the internet right now is because he's that different. It's so forward, so ridiculous. to 6 9 people. was too, though. And look, and look, he took over the internet. Yeah, he did. So my if point that's is, the, if that's the goal, he's clearly his goal is to take over the internet because that's what he's no, doing. No, you're right. But if that's the whole goal of this shit, you know, well, he's doing. trying to get an audience. I gotta yeah. figure out which one Andrew Tate is. He there's he, two pull him up. arrogant nah, bald uh, ones right now. One has an accent, and one does not. A, he's the accent one. Oh, is okay, he? so who's the other one that like? He has lives, all he these doesn't pretty even girls on his podcast. Fred, that's uh, that, I like, I love that podcast. That's, <laughs> his name's Myron Gaines. Just horrible to them all the time. No, see, are you, but no, he no, got let me called out in somebody's DMs recently. So let me did ask you, you this. That? Yes, I did. Let me ask you this: Have you watched an episode, or have you only seen clips? just clips? So, as a person who watches the podcast, what he does is he he's 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 extremely he's like one of the most forward people on earth, right? Yeah. He's so ridiculous. But then people clip like the. The parts that are the absolute worst, and it does make him look like shit. And it's easy; we can do that thing. I can make that. They can do that to you, me. Right, but as many clips as we've seen, and just his watch the whole tone podcast. and demeanor. Do you think it's fair to set uh, a, a, a true representation of who you think he is without listening to him speak? No, fair enough. Would you want somebody to do that to you? No. Right. Like, do you know who I am? Because I'm sure you. If I just and I, I mean this just from the sake of the of the conversation, some of your post. For some of my posts, I can make some. If I only saw a couple of them, I'd be like, "Who the fuck is this bitch?" Oh yeah. So oh yeah, that happens. Fair. Whenever my one of my posts is public, there's always somebody who I don't know who ends up on the post, and it's like, "Wow, you don't know anything about me." How about when I got called racist like four years ago? That's what I'm saying. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like, really? Yeah, it's so stupid. Really? Based on, yeah. off a clip. So, yeah. so with the, as far as the Andrew Tate thing, he's just so honest. Whether you agree with it or not, I, I respect that about a person. I respect that too. He's just going to be himself, whether you fuck with that or not. Yeah. And he's put himself in a situation, and we don't have to agree with. I don't agree with everything he says, but I I do agree with him saying I'm gonna do me, and I don't, he's like the like epitome of cares not. He is, yeah. Right. So he like is, he what, is the epitome of cares not. Yeah, so I guess that. And I respect that. Attraction, yeah. Anybody who's honest, especially to themselves, and, who, and who's willing to be vulnerable, put it out there, knowing that people are going. He came out. Uh, one of his things was he thinks women are terrible drivers. Right, <laughs> this is revolutionary yeah, right, right. thought. Andrew no, Tate, but he got he got blew guy. up on that shit. He said that, and then like the internet ate his ass up because you really can't go against you can't say anything kind of vicious against women nowadays. That'll mm-hmm. fuck you up, right? But he'll say it anyway, mm-hmm. and I, I think it's that. And then he set his life up where you can't cancel him. So right. I think that that there's a there's a, there's a, a market for that. Yeah, of course, of course. So That's you you, like. you set your set your like because if you're on social media. Instagram could be like, nah, YouTube, no, nah. but he's but if you got your own thing, it doesn't matter. And you know, he's killing it on TikTok and he doesn't even have a TikTok account. Yeah. That's what's crazy. It's other people sharing this shit. So clearly there's a lot of people who fuck with it. I want to just on that note, because I've done a little bit of research and you know I love being a pessimist, right? Uh so he has a his whole business is he has like a, a course, like a Hustlers University. A, a yeah, yeah. And so Basically, you can put affiliate links. So he's got tons of people that make accounts and post for him. That's why you really see and so many and it's clips. Brilliant, it's because they make. It is really brilliant because he, yeah, gets like every clip, and it's like, yeah, none of them are posted by him. But not even like direct contacts of his organization. It's like affiliates that are just like they'll put their affiliate link in the listing, and then like just you know rattle yeah. out a bunch of reels. Yeah. Um, so that is why you see a good chunk of them, and that's the incentive to do it is because people make money doing it, but. Right, yeah, because because you might as well, paying people. Right I now. mean, yeah, well, and to get them into the the course to, or to the program. So so one, so actually, um, when his uh, so somebody leaked his like first his like first ten hours of of his of his hustlers university, yeah, right? Somebody leaked his first ten, uh, and I, I I watched it, mm. and there's some good some good game in there. Like the guy, right. the guy's clearly yes or no. Do you think he's intelligent? He's 
like How about yeah. this? Have you listened to anything long? No, I haven't, I haven't listened to long form. And, you know, again, I, I'm not going to be like a hater because there are things that I, I like about the guy. Like, I like that he's straightforward and such like that. I just feel like, one, I'm sick and tired of seeing his face. Like, I just can't get away from it. <laughs> Instagram is like, even, <laughs> yeah, even if I scroll past, right he's, he's fucking everywhere. And it's like kind of annoying. And I think he's also like, I, I don't totally respect people that like are just confrontational and like disruptive for the purpose of being that. So so tell me, what do you think that he's, what has he done to dis be disruptive? I think he's got very uh, defined views on Women? gender roles. Yes, yeah, on and, gen yes. And and yes. for that reason, like uh, I don't know, like as far as I don't know, it's, it's not even like totally like name, name one part. Name name one thing about what he believes in gender roles that you don't agree with. He's very not like property oriented with women, but he 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 has territorial. No, he that's, calls it territorial. somewhat territorial, but like, yeah, he's he's and again, I don't have like quotes, but I know he's very like not like she's my property, but it is a little bit like uh, this is my person and no, my person. Like I will not allow say, them to go to the club. I don't like I don't want her around social other media. Men. Yeah, stuff like that. Where so here's what so here's the thing is I have a preference. And you either fuck with it or not. And if you don't, then I'm out. I know. What's wrong with that? Because if you ask a girl, will you date someone who's shorter than you? Hitler hated the yes. Jews and people fucked with him. But does that make like him just like, oh, he stood up for it's his beliefs? It's just his like, preference. Yeah, I don't. Like, no. Let me ask you this. Will you date someone who's shorter than you? No. What's the difference between I don't want to date someone no. who goes to the club? No, but it's that's... But context in the though, clip that I... Like, yes. Yeah, in the so clip just, that I saw that I think you're referencing, it's when he was talking about like... That woman belongs to that man. Is that was that not his literal interpretation? I, I, and then I somebody I I responded, quotes, and but. he and he like I think he just plays with his words so it doesn't sound like you are my property because he'll literally say no, I don't think she's a woman's property. And then the woman asked him a question, and he responded just by twisting his words to say like no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is. I don't. I don't remember. I'd He's have to see the exact quote. I got. I, since you like this guy, and I feel like oh, I no, no, no. I, I, I love this. My point is, is, I've actually spent hours listening to. I don't him, think so it's about I'm, preference, as opposed to no. He's got his own thing, and I can't, I can't only knock fans on and it. At the club all day, but which, that's not what he said. He didn't say. I. This is what I want. That's not what he said in that clip that you saw. I'm okay. Telling you from me listening to him long form for hours, his whole thing is, I don't. He, this is what he says. If I had a Lamborghini, and I have the best lock system on there, and no one can get into it. I know for a fact no one can steal it, but am I going to put the Lamborghini in the worst part of the city? I did hear this. Let, let, let me ask you, if you had a Lamborghini, and I'm not comparing women to cars, then that's where everybody goes. But if you had a Lamborghini and you know no one can ste steal it, would you, would you, would you want to park it? Would you choose to park it in the worst parts of where it could get messed with? Depends on where we're going, I guess. Like, or is that where would, we're at? Would you want to? No. You'd want to you'd put in a situation where... But I'm confused by this, so this is saying... You don't want your woman to what? Well, he doesn't. He, he does what he believes. I don't necessarily believe this, but what, according to that argument, he doesn't want to put himself in situations, or he, he doesn't want his, his girls in situations that. Go ahead. Go ahead. He, well, and he doesn't want to put his girl. He doesn't want his girl that he's going to seriously date and take care of and do all that, where there could be a situation where bad mistakes could happen because. I've been in situations with girls who had guys that claimed they loved them and shit went down. Yeah, of course. So, so that's my point. So his whole thing is if I'm about to literally give her all my resources, take care of her, do everything she wants, she can have her, the best life she's ever had, I just don't want her in that situation. Again, whether What's I agree with that or not. But the best, okay. But like, for instance, if you're at a club, it's what a, are the yeah. reasons why men go to clubs? For bitches. So, and, so would and, you and, allow and, and what, a girls' night? Basically, Tate says like, no, I do not do that because that is the equivalent of putting my Lamborghini in a bad part of town. Whether I trust that the locks will work or not, it's putting it in a bad scenario, and it's like that's fine. But he's with, able uh, to go to the club with his boys. That's what he says. Okay, that's what? a no from me. That's <laughs> like, what I'm saying. It's, what it, the fuck? No, that's not the best. So, so his his whole <laughs> argument is women having multiple partners is not the same as men having multiple partners. And it's been that way since that, the beginning of that's time. That's a huge, that's a lot he's of He's got very just old school views yeah, as far super as relationships. Old school, yeah. old school so views, that's how we're that, talking about fine. here. I just feel like. And that's got, always is going to yeah. be a hit with anything that's flamboyantly said and it's old school because it's not with the times. Right. That's all that's <laughs> happening. Sure, it's sure. just not anything. He's not saying anything sensational. It's just we are attracted to controversy. 
and that's what sells. And we're in a market that's selling shit. So, and I think what is. makes it interesting for him is that he's just not scared to say it. Whereas yeah. a lot of guys and that, that would, would feel that way wouldn't say it. I, I yeah. personally, if, if I'm going to wife this woman up, I, if I'm being honest, I don't know if I'm that comfortable with her getting toe up, faded, ridiculous at the club, knowing that all these niggas are just trying to fuck anyway. I, I just, I'm not, not saying that she couldn't control herself and not. But at the end of the day, that is why the club Still is there. Still uncomfortable. Just uncomfortable. Whether or not you know your girl will do it or not, it just don't feel good. And then, and I know you're a little different because you said you don't care if a hundred niggas ran through your girl. But <laughs> that's what he said. Is that not what you said? <laughs> well, that's what <laughs> he said. <laughs> He's not what I said. We got to rebound. You said I know, I out of those I two. Like his, with, with, I get it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> that's go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, uh, you created the scenario, first of all, afterwards. You're like, wait, it's, it's more like it's extreme than that. his current girlfriend, you know, going to the club. He's like, I, I know you said if he got gangbang, it's not a big deal. Like, <laughs> right, right, right. right. He, he put a hundred girls. <laughs> oh, my, uh, my fault. I, I, like, not, not even fucking around. I thought you said you do not care about a woman's past whatsoever. I thought that's what no, you said. No, we all got a past. I don't think we're that far apart here, Chris. Like, I... If my girlfriend was like, I'm going to the club with my girlfriend, when she goes out of town and they've been out, she's been to bachelor parties and stuff like that, I trust her. So I don't genuinely ever feel like concerned or whatever. But like, I, I'm sure there's a part of me that like the night that I know they went out to the club or whatever, like, you know, I'm kind of waiting for that. Like, you would prefer she stays and like something. play Scrabble. No, I, no, honestly, I don't give a shit. I want her to have okay. fun time with her friends. But there's always that little like, again, I trust her, but like the club's the club yeah, and you never course. know. Like, I, I don't wish that she like would just chill and do nothing like i again she's her own person she can do whatever she wants but um i i, I do have that feeling and i think that's a that's a gut feeling always like men will always have that where it's like and i don't think that bothers women as much let me ask you does it bother you knowing that women will hit even if you know that your guy he will not you can prove for a fact that he will not yeah. do anything it doesn't bother you as much as other women want him. i would argue yes, that it women does. i want to fight them always I want to fight but, but that. But that you, just, you said earlier that it doesn't necessarily turn you off from him. No, no, no. I said that in my past, if I had been cheated on, that's not like a turn off for some reason. No, that's, like it, it was hurtful, but I would, it didn't turn me off enough to like not continue to be sexual with him or like break up with him for whatever but reason. But you would rather have a guy who is a, a, uh, adored by other women oh, versus that part, not adored you're saying, by other women. As long as there's no cheating, yeah. No cheating. Yeah. You can but guarantee it. But I would still, like if I was there, I would still... So let me ask you, Tom, would you, would you rather have a girl, uh, assuming no cheating, for a fact, it can't happen, a girl that all the dudes want or the girl that none of the dudes want? Guaranteeing cheating can't happen. And is she like the same appearance same and everything? Thing. Then I guess no one ever looks at her, I guess. See, that's but, what I'm yeah, saying. There's a, that's what I'm saying. Deep down, we don't want them out there like that. And it does not I want my stop. girl out there like that. See, I'm sorry. I, I, don't. I do. I want, I, this life is flamboyant, man. I'm not scared of this shit. Like, we're supposed to be peacocks. Like, I don't know why we all scared. I feel the fuck, man. I, it's not about being scared. I just. <laughs> yes, it is. I'm hearing yeah. nothing but fear, in my opinion. Well, it's like, okay, yeah, I feel like it's one of those things where I'm imagining it's like I'm we walk into the park and, left and, and then like everyone's just like staring at her or something like that. It seems more of like a distraction in this hypothetical to me. Yeah, for sure. It's just like, not that I'm like, I don't want her to have the notoriety or like the, you know, the importance God is or like. leaning towards that though. But it, it is really I trying to put a little people bit. in a box. Like they can't express themselves. It's, it runs deeper than I don't want my girl to be hit on. Like I don't want my girl to wear this. I don't so want to express this, let me interrupt There's so you, many D. other things that it do goes you down think to. women desire to be with a bunch of men? Oh, absolutely. We all have the same desire. We're human. So let me We're ask you: human. Would, what you, do you mean? would you rather be for the streets? No, well, uh, well. Okay, we're talking about a grown woman in a different situation in life. Oh, so yeah, my life when you were younger. Much. But I'm, would you would you rather have been with one guy? I or was you, always a relationship person. So you you didn't want to be in the streets. That's I don't. Like, I don't like how you're phrasing that. <laughs> I know, like guys, typically we. I am I wrong? When you I see a, a woman, no matter what, you sexually attract. What's the her. perception of being in the streets? Because again, we still have to have sex with somebody. So if I'm in the streets, who am I in the streets with? Yeah, the but girl that's my in the streets. argument, D, is that yeah. women would like to have sex with this one guy that they admire more so. I think that's, I so think that's a story that we're all telling each other, and they're really good at hiding this one guy thing and then doing whatever the fuck they want to do. And we're so, so flamboyant so, about how we, we can't even juggle So let shit. me ask you, would, would you... Yeah, I think there was one point in time in my life where I would have been interested in not having a relationship and just like... Oh, I'll sleep with him. I'll sleep with him. I'll sleep with him. I never and, and deep did. Down, you did. We all want to go towards attractions. We have multiple attractions. We all want that. Not, women don't just want one guy, but the society tells us like that's the structure we got to live with. Here's what I'm, a little, freaks, I'm a little confused man. when you say society, but society are, are the people in the society. Yeah, but it's so created by but it's, it's, a, it's created, created by the people. 
Yeah, but it's been created wopsided as fuck by men, mostly. That's what I'm saying. It's more equal than we're giving it credit for. Women have way more of a story to tell with this shit, but we don't there's give them a, a story. To, or there's a, voice there's a biological them. reason why men would not want their girl everywhere. It's because there was a way to, uh, to ensure paternity. That's not... That's not. That's a fact. No. They're, literally, they've been doing this with... I think you know with, uh, with the lions and bonobos. This is, a, this is an actual scientific thing that I have read in a book called Sex at Dawn, actually. I remember mm. the book. <laughs> if, if all five of us had sex with just one girl, we would not know who the father is. Bonobos. I wouldn't be me. No, no, not you, not you. But my, <laughs> but, but my point is, right. whereas a woman would know. No. That's, no. She would know more so than No, you, you would. wouldn't. How would you know if you're having sex with everybody? Because you know if you don't, no, I'm saying you, you only have sex with one person. I'm sorry? Listen, in in, in my experiences, mean. women don't necessarily, more often than not, would rather not be out for the streets. Most of them want a family, from what, in my experience. Well, yeah, but that's They want a family with one guy who they love, that they admire, that they trust. But that's been processed and preached to them for hundreds and hundreds that's of years, right? That's what we're right? supposed to do. Right, that's what that's you're supposed what to do. That's what He's saying people- society has made it. This is what we're supposed so, to do. My, but see, my desire is a whole other thing. I'm sorry to cut you no, off. No, it's fine. Desire is a whole other thing. Yes, I agree with she, that. Yes, she want to see something. That's attraction. That's biological. Attraction, I see this guy, I want to fuck him. The same shit we just did the other, a couple hours ago with that girl, the same shit she would want to do, but she going to act on it socially? No. Because society says, no, that's not what you just do. So we're just going through a process that allows men to be more forward about their sexual shit or their aggression. I agree with that. That's what it is. In my experiences, whether or not it's based on cultural or whatever, women have more often than not not wanted to be for the streets, whereas men wanted to be for the streets. I understand what you're saying, but I'm just explaining why that is. Right. He's saying, he's saying, yeah, okay, like when you just asked me that question, my initial reaction was like, I'm not going to say that I've ever wanted to be for the streets because naturally, based on how we were raised, this is mm-hmm. what he's saying is, I shouldn't want to be. It's unattractive but it's inappropriate it's, it's not ladylike <laughs> it's not ladylike literally for me to be for the streets but when i stepped back and was like honest with you the honest part of me is yeah at one point i would have been okay not being in a relationship and just like so let me ask you this do thing. you do you remember about how long that time frame was probably a year so hey, do you mind me asking how old you are on camera how old i am now yeah 30 so out of your 30 years one of your years you considered that being it, but then ultimately you you stop having that feeling. Why is that? I had a kid. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. I, I I think that even if we have one person as a guy, biologically we still want to fuck everything. I think women want the same thing. It's not you. You're not going. I don't I mean, think that that's equal. Why not? Because I just don't, based on my experiences, women tend to not want to fuck everything. I, may, I might actually agree with you. I don't agree with that. With me? I don't yeah. agree with that. I talk to a grown ass woman every day of my mama. And, and just because I feel like you so again, women, up on. women want to fuck. Like, they're people. I don't understand how do women not want to fuck. Like, what is no, this coming they, they from? They want to fuck their guy. Let's ask the woman. You, let's, let's ask, ask the, woman. the woman. What do you think? Do you just want to? Don't, 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 don't. No, I'm saying she, she, she got right now, thing going on. Prince Charming, <laughs> best guy ever. No, of course, but she wants Nate. Right. Do you want anybody else but Nate right now? No. But but you I'm telling right you, I want to fuck everything. Like but if you were in you a don't have a relationship name. with children, would you want <laughs> to still? Yeah, you still would. You still would. You still would. And I think there's most dudes, and, and and just because, and listen, a lot of dudes will exercise that option if they can. Most dudes don't have don't can't exercise Dogs. that option because they don't have what it takes to. They don't have the 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 confidence, the balls, the resources, the whatever to say that I'm going to exercise my options whether you get with the program or not. Most dudes can't say that because they literally they don't see it think it's possible. They're scared of the outcome because they'd rather not get that. I'm telling you right now, you give any guy more often than not, generally speaking, you give him a million dollars, blue check mark, Lamborghini, check. You, give, you know, saying a million dollar house. I promise you, more often than not, they're going to have a bunch of different girls. I think that's that's accurate. Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you agree with that statement? Yeah. Now, give that same situation to women. Do you think she's just going to have more? This is your, it's your opinion. Do you think that she would just have 40 niggas in, all in the house like that? I don't know. So Or white guys. What do y'all think? <laughs> <laughs> See, on my phone, let me, let me Actually, just, wait, yeah, hold on, right, Tom. Right. This is good education, yeah, actually. Hey, Tom, <laughs> uh, I'm about to put you on Black 101. <laughs> yeah, this is Black 101, actually. Uh, I don't know what that is, but no. So I'm about to t- tell you. 101, if you've been to college. <laughs> when, when blacks say niggas... I, I got you. I, I, yeah, it, it, it's kind of like it's it's just 
dudes. <laughs> oh, I'm just <laughs> right. I was just here for the the. No, but you'd be a come on, Tom. Right? Even come I on. knew that. I know. I know. He's I just, with the shit. I said it under my breath. Wait, I thought. Wait, but I'm not black. <laughs> <laughs> you could date white boys too. I just real now, quick. So, as somebody you you've been around blacks in your life. <laughs> I don't like black. I don't like. That you they could also black. be white well, though, right? It doesn't. I don't know. I'm but a black. Don't I don't. Like I'm a black that. person. You never said I'm a black. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a black. Blacks is making me uncomfortable, but okay. <laughs> How am I not uncomfortable? You're, uh, I don't know. I'm comfortable. Uh, okay, so what, oh, would you like to say uh, Afri- Africans? No, I don't want you to say Africans oh, or God. just say I guys because apparently like we're all the same. People. Sounds better than black. <laughs> Damn blacks. No, see, I don't like that at all. Yeah, that does sound fucked up. How much longer do we have? I'm about to check out. <laughs> yeah, there's, like uh, there, oh. yeah, there's some time. I'm about know. to leave. A little, time. No, uh, <laughs> a little bit of time for Chris oh, yeah. to redeem himself here. No, no. I ain't got to redeem I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Not. I don't give a fuck. I'll say nigga, 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 all that. I don't give a fuck. Um, and that's another thing, too. As, you know, that's actually funny. Kind of take it off, but on the same thing. Somebody once told me, that I should worry. She was like, I love your content, but I think you should stop using the N-word so much. And for a split second, I was like, and this is in the beginning days, and I'm like, is she, is she all right? And then I was like, well, no, that's not how I talk. This is how I talk. And anyone who knows me knows that I'm not yeah. on no other shit. So if you're going to take, again, a clip off the internet and then judge my whole character off some clips right. you saw, I don't give a fuck. Right. Take because anyone who's listened clip. to me long form, anyone who has spent time with me knows I ain't on nothing like that at all. As a matter of fact, personally, all I give a fuck about is people just being fucking dope. Because selfishly, it makes me know that I can be dope. And I love when people are dope, and it's because of me, selfishly. So that's all I give a fuck is about people being dope right. in your own way. So as far as using the N-word and, and saying nigga and saying, saying I'm, and I think if, if I had stopped that, that would go against everything that this brand stands for. If I was like, I'm not going to say what I want to say then that means I'm being phony, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So I have to be authentically me, whether or not it's right or wrong, you know, people call me this or that, well, this is how I am. And I believe that when you own that shit, even if people don't fuck with it, they kind of still respect it. I could prove that from a man and woman's perspective again. I remember I had this, uh, it was very, she was right in, in the hindsight. I had this, like, it was just this part of my beard. Mm-hmm. And she was like, uh, this girl, my old, old girl named Bridge, she goes, you should cut that off. And I was like, wait, it was did you have this. a mustache too? Like you yes. had a goatee? It was just this and just this. It was like, I'm okay, so okay, glad okay. that's not a thing anymore. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So I had just I that. Even imagine if it, was like, uh, it, was, it was the white chocolate days. You know, they I had. I thought you had the connectors though. No, no you weren't allowed to. That. You weren't allowed to have the connectors. That's true. As soon Damn, as I, I quit that bitch, like right? That. So I'm that's saying, because they made me cut it off. I forgot. I forgot. So I had just this, and I'll never forget, she goes, you should cut that off. And I was like, shit. I should cut you f- off, bitch. I was like, <laughs> that's what I said. Hey, real talk. I was like, you Get got line, me. Cadet. You got me <laughs> fucked up. My name is right? Chris. In hindsight, so I remember we brought that shit up like a couple years later. She oh, goes, Chris, man. you know what? I thought that fucking beard thing was hideous. <laughs> she thought it was disgusting, but she said, I respected that you didn't just change it. And then she gave me a story about her ex guy who was like, uh, she said the same thing about his haircut. She goes, I don't like your haircut. And he was like, oh, what do you want me to do? Oh. I just change it for you. And she was like, well, no, I'm just, you know. And he was like, I'll just, whatever you want, I'll do it for you. Yeah. And she, she told me she respected that I didn't just fold, that I was just true to myself. And I think that that's more people, more often than not. Yeah, yeah. You're going to turn some people off. I know I will turn off some people. But I believe, but the ones I do get will really fuck with me, though. So mm-hmm. I, 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 to me, that's more powerful. I'd rather yeah. have the real shit and then let all the, the ones who don't fuck with me not be there. Yeah, yeah of course. And that's, a, that's something that's a testament to our times, too, because now that we have access to literally 8 billion people, yes. and this is a new feeling that people are yes. starting to feel. That's why this whole cancel culture is really interesting, yes. because if you have your own ecosystem, you really can't get canceled. All you need is your own cult, you know what I'm saying, to take care of whatever yep. you got going on. Yep. So it's, just, it's, it's an interesting time, and it's allowing people to kind of Shit, freeform with their with with themselves and shit, and figure out themselves. Steph, how do you feel about cancel culture? Are you for I, it or against it? I'm for it. So you you say cancel a nigga? Cancel his ass. Are you like cancel his ass? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> give, give me an example. Uh, okay. When's the last time you felt oh, like let's man. get him Will Smith? Should he have been canceled? Oh man, we talked about. That oh, last we did time. talk about that last I love time. Will Smith. Okay. Yes. So should he have been canceled? Mm, no. Okay. 
Who's the last person you would like cancel his I ass? I can't think of anyone specific. I don't think that's don't true know. of you. I don't, you, you. You say you want to cancel maybe him? Maybe not like, may, I don't know. I wasn't specifically thinking like um, social media when you said that or like celebrities when you said that. I'm thinking more like friends, family, like people oh, who are toxic yeah. to your <laughs> life. Oh, yeah. But it's funny that's because. Like. Oh, my fault. Yeah. No, but I it's like funny one, because my aunt, so like that's without putting my whole like family out there, one of my aunts was talking to me about something recently and she asked about our generation and just canceling people. Mm -hmm. And to me, it was crazy because we were raised like, you're, but it's still your mom, but it's still your brother, but family is family and you're supposed to have each other's back and blood is thicker. What is blood, blood is thicker than water. Yeah. yeah. And our generation <laughs> and even younger are like, you're not pouring into my cup or you're causing me problems or you're not doing anything for me, fuck you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And and my aunt was is like, I don't understand your generation. And, you're, and I'm like, listen, mm -hmm. fuck you. Not, yeah, not my aunt. Yeah, no, 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 if you're listening not, to this, I love you. Cares not done. you. Yeah. Fuck sorry, but, but it's very much yo. like, yeah, you're not, you're, your energy is not matching my energy or. Mm. I'll go find my energy. Mm. Where it's, where yes. It's or I'll do it by myself. Yeah, like, I don't I do care. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood thick in the water. Yeah, biggest joke on the fucking planet. But we were all raised that way. Yeah. And, so and is that, is that, that a culture original? Thing? Yeah, that was the everything is that was the original clan of your your mm -hmm. your original mm -hmm. yeah, clan like, yeah, is back that in one. The day, day, yeah, yeah, exactly. But despite what they did to you, all type of shit. Like my family history, I got a Fisher family that goes back to 1838. But there was some discrepancies in that motherfucker. Was then that was some give us us free niggas, huh? I mean, that was the last <laughs> give slave. Give us us free. Yeah, yeah, that was that. <laughs> but I'm saying with, within that family lineage, no matter what, the blood thickening in water type of shit, there was some fuckery going on with that. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you even look at royalty. They incest, all type of shit. There's fuckery going on with that too. I mean, here's to me, what debunks that whole blood thickening in water is there have been women on this earth who have put their babies in microwaves. Yeah. So well, that I can't I mean, do I like emphasize women. I have no idea why that. <laughs> because no, because what? No, <laughs> because what's the example? No, because what's a no stronger idea. bond than a woman and her kid? No, you're. That's the whole point of that. Yeah. That's oh. like the most extreme version yeah. of I give a fuck about this. Human I mean, being. postpartum depression and psychosis is like a real fucked up thing, but yeah. Yeah. So I don't know much about that. Is it fucked up? He's like that existed. Yeah. I mean, I've never like ever that's wanted me. to like hurt my children, oh, ever. But uh, no, oh, that we. shit's that shit can yeah, that's crazy. I had a, but I'm not gonna say his name. You know him, no. <laughs> we were on mushrooms, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and we had him. It was my first time on mushrooms. This is a crazy story. You know they do controlled mushroom trips in other countries. Yeah, they they, they live. Like, like in they Spain live. and stuff. Portugal, yeah. Ashwagandha yeah. and shit. Everything. Yeah. Like I want to do that do, shit. And they do like control, and you're supposed to just like with the shaman and shit. Remember things or like I don't know, forget Toad. things. Or Have you guys done psychedelics? Right, right, right. No. Hey, 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 hey. I know you're watching the podcast, but I need you to do me a favor. I need y'all, I need y'all right now. Go to caresnone.com right now, caresnone.com, and go check out the new site. It's a whole new site. It's more optimized. It's more user-friendly. It should be easier to navigate. It's cleaned up. I think y'all going to like it. Do me a favor, y'all. Just go check it out. Go ahead, copy something, too. Get you some nice merch. Get you some dope stuff. Go look nice. Go show that you're Cares Not Nation for real. You'll really be supporting me. You'll be supporting me big time. So, caresnothing.com. Oh, and uh, always be dope. I've done shrooms, but I, it wasn't an effect at all. But you can Oh, psychedelics are fucking... If, no. if, if you were on the right set and setting, it, it's like it's life-changing shit. But this dude was like, Chris, man, I'm not going to say his name so I can tell the story. <laughs> he goes... <laughs> I know, I know I'm not supposed to say this. He goes, but I really wish I didn't have kids. He was that dead. I had never heard anyone say that ever. Oh, no, it's that's... always like, no, that's yeah. what you're supposed to be like, no, I'm there. And he was like, I just, I don't know. And it was just crazy. <laughs> and then he was, that was obviously a real moment on Mushroom. He was, he was for real. I'm yeah, like, he I felt, felt that shit. Felt mm -hmm. So it's just it's interesting. So, and what, 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 what is this thing where that girl Bridget again, not to bring her up, but she said sometimes she would love something so much that she wanted to hurt it. Is that a thing? She'd be like, like when you would hear girls say, oh, you're so cute, I just want to pop his head. Oh, and yeah. like you never would do it. You got a dog? This, huh? You got a dog? Do I have a dog? Yeah. No. It's, yeah, it's, it's called cute aggression. Oh, so, it's like you, so what, is, what do you mean? Like I'll, I'll go up to my dog and I'll just be like, I just I like kiss his face and then like I kind of choke his bitch ass out a little bit. Obviously, yeah. it's a joke. As a joke, Peter, yeah. Peter, yeah. Peter, so about Peter. Us, you about to get us killed. There's, so there's a part of it. Nah, it's obviously it's no, a joking. joke, right? But uh, nah, there's <laughs> you see it so and you just like oh, I just want to. 
Right. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's like actually malicious, but <laughs> well, you never had that. You ever, I guess if you don't have animals, but like, I I feel like I'm pretty good with dogs, but I'm a little bit more on the rougher side. But I also have my sweet side with them too. But I'm talking about I've heard women say that like, like there's like it's like an actual thing that like women and it's out of love though. And it's not even like they wouldn't would hurt it, but it's just something about like I want to hurt this thing. I love it so right. much. I you just want to squeeze them. One of my, you actually, ever felt that way? One of my people, yeah. I will say, uh, to add you, to you that. You never pinched. Don't you have a, you have a kid, right? I have four. Oh, okay. <laughs> you never just that's like... Why she got this, a, she got a that's why the conversation them. at the beginning was so fascinating to me because I hear everybody say, oh, I'd rather be with a girl that fucked 100 guys in four years than be with a girl with kids. I know, and I know. And here I, and I am I knew, with four kids. I'm so sorry. And I knew I knew that you at least had one kid, and I thought that you might find that, that offensive, so I apologize about no, that. No, I, mean, I don't, but, uh, I don't, I don't care. She's cares than the nation. I know, but uh, yeah, but you've never like just, you know, you squeeze their cheeks the or just like, you, my kid I, I bet you hug them you tightly sometimes. Them. Okay, yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> Halloween I comes hug. around, they're wearing their little costumes and stuff like that. There's a part of you that's just like, I kind of want to squeeze them until something happens. Until their eyes like you, pop you, out? You yes. never put one of your kids like in the motherfucking... Motherfucker? No, see, not because a choke I love hold, them. A genuine <laughs> chokehold is one thing, you know, but... There is that feeling of just like, I just love you I just want to squeeze you so much. You know, it's a cute You felt that before then? Of course, you squeeze shit that you... That's cute. It's kind of a natural reaction. It's like a hug. It's like, oh, I just want to. I think there's a thing. I wish I knew the thing. I don't know. There's a thing for that, though. And I think it's like an actual condition that some women. So tell me more about the, the post thing. Because you were saying. Well, I was going to add to this oh. really quickly if I can. But I have a, a one of my peoples, actually. She actually has a kid. And she was recently telling me, like, man, I just, I just, I mean, I love my baby. But, yeah. I, you know, I wish I didn't have a kid either type of shit. You know what I mean? Like, so it, that's what I'm saying. It goes. Now, when so they say, let me Damn, just, when they say, I love my kid, is that because you're supposed to say that? Or is whatever, that whatever, it, whatever the situation is, you know? I mean, but everybody, we, this shit is real. I think Especially that, I think purpose, that right? a lot of women end up having babies for the wrong reasons. And that's what mm. one thing, too. A yeah. lot, like a lot more than we know because yeah. you can't talk about it. And mm, um, you just got to be a mama. You just have yeah, to be gotta a mama. You got to be the greatest mama, and too. And I think a lot of resentment comes with those children, especially if. You did it for the father. You did it like, and then mm. and then you look at that child like, you know, I don't have to. Especially if it looks like the father. You. Oh yeah, it always mm -hmm. does. Right. Baby always looks like <laughs> it that. Always, you know? About fifty percent. But I usually. think a lot of women go. Yeah, I think a lot of women go through that. And if you have <laughs> postpartum or something like that, then yeah, the baby ends up in the microwave, like yeah. you said. Oh my god. I'm, I'm just saying. So that's, it's really sad. So that the point. I just want to say that is the most fucked up. Yeah. Real yeah, that, quick. The reason I, there was an extreme, you know, I'm like a dumpster fuck. baby or like just, yeah. just like popping pop his head. We're like, put it in a I, microwave. Wait, hold on. Is, yeah. is I think a up. dumpster oh, baby yeah. is is better than a microwave baby. Yeah. I, <laughs> well, that's I what he's saying. Hang on, what does oh, this okay. mean? I don't sorry, know. Sorry, sorry. That's what he's saying. I feel like the microwave is the most fucked up. I mean, dumpster baby fucked up too. Most fucked up is putting a baby in a microwave to me. I don't That's That's what I'm saying. That's the worst. Yes. So that's why the blood thing and the water thing. But then I know people who are not like Steve. Steve, he's there's nothing he wouldn't do for me. You know what I'm saying? And there's there's blood that probably wouldn't give a fuck what I do. So I just Steve right. Chris's blood right. is thin. Right. It's slippery. Yeah. You can't even get it. So he'd do anything for you. You better do something for him. All right. Oh, I do a lot for that fool. Okay. You talking about Steve? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Man. You're like <laughs> you were like I don't know about this blood. Oh yeah, we, 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 we already got <laughs> a few videos anyway. anyway. We, uh, you, I want you know I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm just, just do a few. I'm gonna just do a few. Also, never have I ever. Hold on, hold on. I want to do yeah over fuck Mary kill. That was always a good one. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just pick. A, let's go pick a few, and then we'll end it. With camera equipment, what do you guys think? All right, let me go start bringing some stuff, out, some lenses out. You guys tell me. What I you would think. fuck my lens. Yeah, yes. right, right, right. That. The yeah. lens is fuckable. All right, I'll just, I'll just pick a couple. Oh God. We'll start with you, Steph, since you're like the. Okay. I'm not gonna say guest because you're gonna be coming on, but I already know the answer to this. But would you rather become someone else or just stay you? Stay me. Yeah, I already. That's. I'm not even gonna answer because I already. Stay you. Oh, here we go. Hey. For your birthday, would you rather receive cash or gifts? Cash. Why? Because I want to buy my own shit. <laughs> Ooh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, cash. Yep. Yeah. Probably. But, you know, I, I mean, even cash, it's like, yeah, but yes. I got you. I cash. Like, oh, we'll talk about Christmas <laughs> yeah, another time. I'm a Christmas hater, as you can imagine. So, oh, so, so let me ask you, wait, so let me ask you this. No, no, no. I need this whole cool car. When's the last time you got a gift that you were like, oh, and then you were like not happy and you had to like fake that you were happy about it? Never. I'm so good. Like, if you can't do that, fuck yourself. You don't deserve shit. 
I remember when I was a kid, I'd give shit to my grandma, and she'd always be like, oh, my God. God, it's like some just little shit that we drew. It was nothing, but it's, it's a it's a thing. And uh, Allie, if you ever watch this, um, she, she and her family, my girlfriend, she, they're so bad about receiving gifts. They will like, oh, like in front. It's like, bitch, there's like people here. It's Christmas. Like it you're you're dampening the mood, whether you like this or yeah. not. Like fucking put on an act. Yeah. So uh, no, no respect for you. you. Got a gift, like yeah. That is where yeah, I'll I'll choke you out. So I, Christmas. So, you better look you, fucking if, happy. No matter the gift, you've always made it very clear that so you're excited. I have one specific time. We It was Christmas <laughs> at my mom's side, and I was young. And someone gave me, like, a training bra, and I opened it in front of everybody. <laughs> oh. And I'm like, oh. actually, I think that was the aunt that we were just talking about, oh. and she's probably going to watch this. I remember <laughs> that. I want you to know I remember that. She thought it was a good idea. She was like, because oh, everybody... Bro. All the grandkids went in a circle and individually opened. So then yes. you showed what you got. And I <laughs> motherfucking training bra, bitch. Oh, she thought yeah. she had you. But no, too. but you know what? I That's I funny. was I was always very appreciative of gifts. And now that I'm an adult, it's like I was just explaining to one of my kids for his chores the other day. My kids spent $150 in one month on PlayStation. Mm -hmm. Like V-Bucks oh, for yeah. Fortnite oh, yeah. and whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm going through I did it. Last year. And I told him, okay, well, that's different for adults. <laughs> and I told him, I said, you could have $150 in your account now, but instead you bought like Fortnite dances, right? And I'm like, try, try. which is a whole conversation <laughs> in itself. But. Well, you weren't like that. But no, so I tried to say, try to think about, I was like, how much does like one thing of V-Bucks cost or whatever? He's like, $20. I said, okay. So for $20, you had to do five baskets of laundry. You had to sweep the living room. Like, I was like, oh, try so to look at it that way. Game, right, right. So for, like, me, it's like, okay, bitch, I just bought you a $200 whatever. Like, that is, I, I'm not going to, I make really good money, so it's different. But, like, for some people, that's, like, one week's worth of work. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? So, like, yeah. I've always been, like, very appreciative of gifts. But there have been gifts. That were shitty. Not really that in my adulthood, though. So you've, you've never had a shitty gift that you had to pretend that you liked? Not in my adulthood, no. Not that I can so think of. So all the gifts you've gotten, you've absolutely loved. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I think have so. that. But... I think the people around me who give me gifts they just are know. good gift givers. Yeah. Yeah. I've never had like a, or I don't say like a, uh, never like a training bra thing. I've never had like a gift where I'm imagining like the Grinch, you know, where he gets like the shaver and it like brings up all these bad memories. Like I've never had anything well, like what that. What about like, you know, like a pair of socks? Oh, I get socks. Yeah, What's my mom, socks? my mom will give me hey, socks. And honestly, I sometimes it. I need them. <laughs> That's getting old, man. You apparently are right, old about enough. The, what about a tie? What about a tie? I got, so <laughs> my birthday was in July, and I, uh, happy, birthday, Nick. My, happy birthday, uh, Nick. my girlfriend's parents got me a bunch of, like, dress shirts and stuff like that, and some ties, and I was like, fuck yeah, I need this stuff, yeah. like, <laughs> so it was great. Slacks? See, I think that women, the reason they do that is because they know that dudes won't do it, like, we'll have draws with holes in them for 22 years. Oh, yeah, I don't buy shit. Christmas and birthdays is, like... Everyone like, buys I'm me clothes. Draws I get, I'm getting something. Yeah, I'm getting something to wear. And because the last thing I'm going to do is go to the mall and pick some shit out for myself. <laughs> Christ. What about you, D? What's up? What, have you ever gotten a gift that, that did you have to pretend like you liked? I'm pretty sure when I was a kid, I probably was a little asshole. But as an adult, nah. That's what I'm And if about. I don't, I'll repurpose some shit. Every Christmas, I have to pretend on, on a few things. Yeah. Yeah, because there's someone in, in, in my situation, awesome human being. And it's known within the, the quarters mm -hmm. that it doesn't necessarily give the best gift. <laughs> it's it's known, and we, and we but, but you got to do the uh, yeah. You got to oh, do that whole thing, <laughs> right? You got, you, it's a thing, right? But like you're Funny. you're an asshole if you're like the fuck is this? Yeah, oh no, you're definitely <laughs> that's a shitty person. Definitely. All right, let's go. Let's do a couple more. Uh, ooh, here we go. Stephanie, would you rather work in a group or work alone? This depends on what we're doing. This depends on what we're, it depends on what we're doing. Okay, uh, Tom, pick the thing that we're doing. What are we doing, Tom? <laughs> um, if you could manage the bar, right? Because mm -hmm. you bartend. Um, if you could manage and like handle everything, wasn't going to be an overburden to have mm -hmm. just yourself working the bar opposed to question. two other people yep. or three other people. Would you prefer to work Myself, alone? only because... I'm going to make all the money. So I get to keep all that money. The the bar I work money at. Money I mean, you make the same shit. Everything is the same. Okay. You just got to like bump into people then and see other motherfuckers with making other drinks. people. For the camaraderie and just. The yeah, I, I love everybody that I work with right now. So that's great. Other bars I've worked at, I'd, I'd rather just like bitch go home and I will struggle right. by myself. You know what I mean? Yeah, I but, yeah, but the people I work with, I would rather work in the group. 
I feel like I know the answer for you, D, but what's the answer for you? Group or alone? Group. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Our whole thing is collaboration. Yeah. All collaboration. I, I, just, I love people so much. I'm such a human, like, people person. Yeah. I know it's cliche, but I really, I really am a people person. Like, I feel like I get energy from other motherfuckers. Y'all I feel like it. I'll be tired. Well, some people claim that they lose energy from people. We can, too. You can, people can strip your shit away, too. Yeah, like, like, like introverts. I, I just don't relate to being an introvert at all. I've heard of these people. <laughs> I can't imagine. Is everyone here an extrovert? Yeah. I'm pretty I don't know, dude. I might be yeah, the opposite. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not weird you? like I'm not like a hermit, but like, I don't know. I don't are you are you a homebody? No, let's move on to the next one. I don't want to do this. Okay, okay. Would you rather live at the top of a tall New York City apartment building or the top of a mountain? <laughs> Neither, because I'm afraid of heights. You gotta pick one. No, I'm not fucking picking one. You gotta pick one for the game. The mountain. Why? Because uh, <laughs> the building will collapse and I'll die. I don't like uh, heights, dude. I don't like heights. Like, like for real? Like, what about going to like this a stadium and sitting at the top? Does that bother you? I only sit in the 100 section. Hey. Hey. Okay. Very okay. slight. Very, very slight. Yeah. 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 That was nice. I like that. that was nice. I feel like I got floor <laughs> seats or right. behind the I feel like I've never answer. been up. For, for D, I'll ask you next time. You're I feel like no. I know the answer for you. Yeah. I would have guessed city, but I want to. Right. Know. Well, New York is terrible from the top, probably. But oh, now it's like, sure. you mean like 9 11 and shit? No, no. Well, <laughs> No. Oh, that's what I was my first no, just aesthetic Because pages. of planes and hidden buildings. And stuff. <laughs> Every time I see a tall building, the chances I'm looking for are no, not zero love. anymore. It's <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, actually. Uh, so you pick a mountain? Yeah, I, I like the mountains. I, when I climbed Mount Rainier, that was a game changer. Mm. That was the Did one. Did you get we to the snow? To, yeah, I, I, I was right by the peak. Like we can kind of climb as we had to go up like two hours and shit like that, where, to where you can you have to actually you can't uh, drive anymore. Because it's now snow. How long did you have to train to do something like that? Oh, you just drive up that motherfucker. Anybody can do it. I didn't climb <laughs> the mountain. That I just drove up. Four wheel <laughs> drive. No. Like, no, uh, I'm not that. No. He had a pick, a, a ice pick. Oh, hell no. Pick. I'm not that. He's been okay, working his whole life. He had to rent like that a... car and everything. He oh, hell no. No, 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 no. What, what about you, Tom? I feel like, I feel like I'm going to take the mountain just because like I feel like I would not be interested in like a big city. You know, and like a mountain would be kind of cool. I mean, obviously, like I wouldn't want to be like completely away from stuff. I hope there's like a grocery like store Wi-Fi? up there. I will say it was the <laughs> most <laughs> when, when I experienced that it was the most secluded I've probably ever been in my life. Because if shit there's happened, if I fell, it was done. You yeah, probably so wouldn't find me for two, three hundred years. Man, give, Maybe give me later the in my life. Yeah, give me some some you know uh, New York City million dollar Trump shit. Have That's, you been to New York? Yeah, a couple times. I hate it. But anyway. I mean, you ever been at the top in one of those penthouses, though? No, because I'm afraid of heights. What oh, the fuck, Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Oh. Fair enough. Miss 100 section. Do a penthouse. It's in the first floor. What the fuck you mean? Yeah. yeah. I like the easy exit. Access. Oh, okay. Last one, last one. Oh, this is a good one. Would you rather have nosy neighbors or noisy neighbors? Ooh. <laughs> That's interesting. That's a just good. write these down. No, I, 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 okay, these are good. good. These are good. These are real good. Noisy or nosy? I feel like I'm the, I'm the noisy. Probably noisy. I think I'm picking noisy. Probably yeah. noisy. Yeah, noisy. Yeah. Noisy. Yeah, you can't be, don't be all of my shit. Don't be all of my shit. <laughs> like, oh. bitch, what you want? I've had nosy neighbors, and that was, yeah, no. I mean, I guess it depends on, like, what point. You know, like, the neighbor, like, howdy, neighbor, what are you doing today? Like, that's one like thing. A, like a but Flanders? If, like, if yeah, but if they're, like, peeping toms and, like, looking <laughs> in windows and shit. No, we've or, had, like, yes. You've had peeping toms? In the first, I don't know if I call <laughs> them peeping toms, but Ooh, girl. we were that's in the, the thing. first floor. And, like, Are you okay? The, that's the charge. The patio yeah. door on the first floor of our apartment, we had neighbors on multiple occasions, the same neighbors, walk into our front door and the then claim door. it was it. Oh, I'm still getting used to my unit being right yes. here. Yes. You'll die. I'll, I will you fucking die. kill you. Yeah. Why are you in my house right now? No, seriously. Uh, seriously. Especially if you have kids Always and in shit. the window. Oh, yeah. Like, literally would, like, look in our patio door, and I'd be like. And it's probably worse for a female, too, right? Like, the, yeah, well, Nate, at that point, had, like, just moved in. So after telling him a couple times, he, like, he was salty went over and was like, hey, man, like. I'm about to kill somebody in this motherfucker. Yeah, Next you got to understand I have shot. a family over here. And he's like, man, bro. Ooh. My bad. Like, I really am just getting used to, like, this is my... He was right across the hall. And Nate was like, okay, well, oh, stop. Oh, it was in the same... We were in the same... Yes, he was literally... We were like... How long had he lived 1C, there? 1C, and he was like, one day... I, months. 
Oh, no, that's yeah. bullshit. He, he walked in nah, the nah, door. Nah, day nah, one, nah. maybe, I can see it happening. <laughs> no, yeah, he walked in the door, I think, on two occasions, and then, like, his mom or grandma or whatever would, like, look through the... Oh, no, he was out I here. swear to God. You got to kill that. He was out here. <laughs> you got to kill that. <laughs> you end up. All right, one more, one more. Let me do one. These are fun. One more, one more, one more. All right. Uh, they was not good. Okay. Ooh, here's a good one. Last one. One more everything I love. Would you rather be the most popular person at work or school or the smartest? Let me read that again. Would you rather be the most popular person at work? At work or school. Oh, at work or school. Or, or the, the smartest, smartest person, person at, at work, work or school. Or school. There you go. <laughs> that shit look crazy as hell to me. With with what I do at work, the most popular. Right. And it Make that money, work. get those shifts. Yeah. yeah. At school, the smartest. I wasn't. I wasn't. I mean, see, he didn't even know who I was, right? So I wasn't even pop. So I wasn't even popular. D didn't know who I was. Literally a from high school. star basketball player type shit. <laughs> Listen, he was a big deal, and apparently, I know she I was pregnant. So you pregnant not. Yeah, yeah, senior they, year. My whole senior year. She no, was I was my she's whole one senior of those. Year. Just four kids, okay? <laughs> yeah, one of those. When do you think these were happening? I had to squeeze yeah, all four yeah, kids in know. in a small... No, so, um, yeah, school smartest. School smartest. Work most popular. What about you, D? Well, I'm a sapiosexual, so I've always been attracted to, like, just brain energy and shit. Um, I understand what comes with not being... This, I mean, just being the smartest only. That's from very lonely shit. Yeah. Um, and have all that brain without anybody to say anything to is kind of fucked up. So popularity probably will win. I probably, I feel like popularity is kind of more like important than brains these days with like careers and yeah. <laughs> especially like yeah. if you want to do social, I don't know, you know, like I think popularity almost like kind of trumps knowledge these days. So. I feel like that comes with a lot though. Well, the reason I say, the, the reason I don't want to be an idiot. The reason but. I also <laughs> say popularity, though, is because of the social part of it. Like, you get to actually camarader have camaraderie with people. Mm -hmm. If I'm just smart and I'm a fucking loan and nobody can understand me, it's hard to, yeah, okay. it's hard to, like, you know, just live as a person. You need people. We need people to communicate our shit, you yeah. know? So that's why I was used to popularity I'm, on that end. I'm going to, uh, the older I get, the more the smart thing. You're literally an me. influencer, so the question has been answered for you. Yeah, right? but but I I think well because I've always been you know I was prom king. And shit. I've always just, even since I was a kid. I really, just, that's awesome. I don't you know, know, I've always just been a popular kid. Um, I, I, I don't know, maybe just because of my <laughs> energy. I think the reason why people like me because I always liked other people. I, I think right. that's why I've, I've always I used to bully the bullies. Like, I'm like, come fuck with me. And I was 400, so no one was fucking with me. I'm right. like, you fuck with me, then you gonna fuck with him, fuck with me. And I think people fucked with that. Right. Yeah. Uh, but popularity, because I think you can, like you said, you can influence more. You can, I think you could do more. But I don't think that undermines being like intelligent is is uh, fucking vicious. Well, yeah. You know, but, but that's yeah. how but these I'm, hypotheticals work. You gotta right, take one, all right? I'm, I'm, <laughs> a, I'm gonna pick popularity. And he was he was like debating us, like he was gonna say, no, no, smart, <laughs> but no, because like nah, I guess I mean, popular. My, like, my people, my people's peoples are like the astrophysicists of the world, and that that type of shit. Like that, those are the people who I personally obsess over. But I know if that's my personal, and I can't spread it in any way for anybody else to enjoy, it, then it's no, it's just me living. That's in a it, good point. You know, that's a good point. Um, D, where can they find you? They can actually, you know what? Not my shit. I, got a I forgot about this question. Oh, yeah. Well, so I have what? actually a convention I'm going to tomorrow in Detroit. We, my brother and I were going to oh, a damn, small bro. business convention. And we uh, I made some new business cards for myself. Oh, shit. My pretty cool poses. Hand, I can them, actually, hand them over to me. I'll give them because this camera is going to be easier. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so uh, hey, yeah, can yeah, I show yeah, this yeah, on camera? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, my so my this God. is a uh, pretty cool pose. This is something I've been working on along with pretty on, cool man. bonobos. Come on. But uh, <laughs> but pretty cool poses dot com. Uh, this is my platform where this is my professional platform. I'm offering my services as a uh, model, as a figure model, privately. But you can also see my professional offerings too on there. So we have that in the works. But pretty cool poses dot com, and uh, we'll go from there. Stephanie, do you care to share where they can find you? Um, yeah, remember when you asked me this last time, and I was like, "What do you mean?" Uh, Charlie underscore Fullerton on why, why Instagram. Don't you do this? Are, are you weird about having randoms see that page? Would you be willing no. to start? Okay, yeah. Is your shit open? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Perfect. Or you can visit me at First Place Sports Bar in Hoffman Estates. Hey, so I was, I was right, wondering right, if you were right, gonna right, drop right, that. Right, right, right. 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 No, I, I respect it. Fuck a follow, man. Bring yeah, you yeah, and your friends bar. and get a we couple of drinks. We got good food, good specials and shit, too. Right. And some bad bitches uh, behind the bar. Of course. <laughs> for, all you, for all you freaks out there. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, where can they find you, man? 
Chicago Podcast Our Studio, baby. We know that. We know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you can find me at the new and improved caresnone.com. Yes, yes, we yes, have to pull is. that up next episode. Yeah, have have, have you seen the new time. site? Yeah. Well, remember when I messaged you because I was trying to get shirts that a couple weeks ago? With the, with the new site? And I was like, no, it was before. before and I was right. like, hey, I can't order shirts. And you were like, hold on, let me. Oh, that's right, 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 right. And I fixed yeah. that issue. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Uh, caresnone.com got new shit. Um, I I got that figured out now a lot better. So. Mm-hmm. Check that out. Yes. Uh, it's actually doing really well, you know, all things considered. Shit, very, buddy. very proud of Cares None. And um, you can find me on any platform at Chris Cares None. Any platform. Except for like LinkedIn, which is probably a fuck up, if I'm being honest. Yeah, it's I'm probably a fuck up. Right yeah, it's like, yeah. God damn. It's like, yeah, I do a trillion things. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and as always. As always. Cares, cares None. none. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,